Docker and DevOps tools are becoming the standards in today's software development. If yet you didn't find enough time to get started using those two technologies, then I invite you in my course in order to see how we can build an ASP.NET Core web application, then use Docker images to build it and run it. The goal here is to automate the publishing of the web app to a production environment. Each time we make a change in our source code, we'll go and commit, then push that change to a GitHub. This will be the trigger for the continuous integration CI pipeline. Once GitHub gets that commit, it will notify VSTS Visual Studio Team Services that a new build should be triggered. The CI pipeline will start running the tasks for building and pushing the image. For building the image, we'll use the Docker file in order to uh, generate the Docker image. Then it will push it to Docker Hub using the image name that we have specified right here. Let's open the console that shows the running status for the CI pipeline. Here we see that the CI pipeline started executing and now it's currently on the task for pushing the image to Docker Hub. Once that finishes successfully, we can go to Docker Hub and refresh and we can see here that we have a new image with the new tag. After the CI, we want to run the CD pipeline to publish the Docker image into a web app. For that, I'll go to Azure and create a new web app for containers. Then here, I define the three environments, the dev, staging, and production. We can see now that the dev is executing successfully. And in order to go to staging, I need to approve the transition to a staging. I do that and then staging is running successfully and now my web app is deployed and we can see here the message that I want to display is now uh, changed into my production website. 